Did you hear about the guy who froze to death at the drive-in? He went to see Closed for the winter. Today, I'm going to recap a 2018 action crime film called The Awakener. At the beginning of the movie, we see the protesters and demonstrators outside of a government building. They were gathered there to protest against their governor, Sandro Cohedia, who was found corrupt and stealing the state money. The people throw things and stones at the building, and the governor hides under the table, where a masked man finds him. In the next scene, some men of the force DAE are getting prepared and armed. Later, they arrive at a building where a man is sipping his coffee. That man was Governor Sandro. They arrested him and took him to the interrogation room in their head office. Their fellow officers cheer Edu and Miguel on their performance of capturing the corrupt governor. In the interrogation room, they told him that they had gotten evidence of his corruption and embezzlement of public money. The governor threatens them that he will not stop killing anyone who tries to expose his corruption or crimes. He even tries to bribe the officer to get free from the charges. After some time, when the governor was having a lavish lunch, his lawyer arrived there. He talked about his contacts in the prosecutor's office. He assured him of his release from custody in a short while. He told him he might be put on house arrest during the investigation. In the meantime, in the DAE head office, their commander holds a small meeting and tells them that the evidence related to Governor Cohia's embezzlement of the health budget is insufficient. So he decided to allow him to go home and be placed under house arrest. After that, Miguel and his friend come out of the office. Miguel goes to see his daughter, who is standing with her mother on the road and waiting for her father. They were waiting there to take their daughter to watch the football match. Miguel arrives there with a t-shirt present for his daughter. She gets excited. He helps her wear her shirt, while her mother takes pictures. After that, Miguel takes her in a taxi. They get out of the car, seeing the traffic block. While walking on the road to the stadium, his daughter got a blind shot from somewhere. She started bleeding. Miguel rushed his daughter to the hospital emergency for immediate medical treatment. When they reached the hospital, the doctors immediately took Miguel's daughter, Alice, to the emergency room and asked Miguel to wait outside. Miguel waits there impatiently, and then he gets in. He happens to see a lot of serious patients lying open and unattended in the hospital corridor. He was shocked to see these patients and the conditions of the poor hospital facilities. At that moment, he found his daughter Alice lying motionless in front of the operating room. When he asked the doctor why they have not taken her to the operating room, he tells him that the hospital did not have many operating facilities, so many patients had to wait for their turns. After a lot of bleeding and delay in the treatment, Alice's pulse stopped slowly and she died. After some time, Miguel's ex-wife and Alice's mother arrived at the hospital, and she was shocked to learn that her little daughter had died. In the next scene, the governor got bail and was released from custody due to insufficient evidence. He goes to Mike in the next scene and announces running the election for the president. He pledges to increase the budget for the health sector and public hospitals. He promises to improve the welfare of the people. On the other side, Miguel remembers his daughter while jogging in the streets. He thinks that inadequate hospital facilities caused his daughter's death. Miguel thinks his daughter might have been saved if the health sector had more adequate hospital facilities and equipment. He thinks that patients should not be neglected and ignored. While he was jogging, he came to a shop in the street and saw the news that Governor Cohenia was released from prison and not found guilty of any corruption and embezzlement of health funds. Miguel got more furious and frustrated over the system. He then passed through the crowd of protesters at that government building and attacked the police officers in anger. The police officers fire tear gas at him, and he wears a mask. As we know, he was a trained special forces man. He overcame many police officers who were guarding the building. He climbs the building and enters. He kills one of the governor's bodyguards and enters the room where the governor is hiding. He punches him continuously, which results in his killing. The next day, Miguel returns to work, and the chief at the head office asks Miguel and other DAE members to investigate protesters that occurred during the demonstration. He tells them that the investigative team managed to arrest several suspects suspected of being the masterminds of the protest. Miguel knew one of the women among the suspects. 
Miguel met this woman at the protest where he was beating the police officers. Miguel interrogates the woman in the room. She tells him that she is Nina and that she is a programmer. Nina also tells him that she knows Miguel is the one who attacked the police, then says that she has a recording of Miguel's actions on her cell phone. He goes to the evidence room and checks her phone. He found her right. She leaves Miguel choiceless, so ultimately, he frees her. At night, after analyzing the video and events at his apartment, Miguel finds the address of Nina's apartment and goes there. He found her walking on the road. Nina shows him the laptop of Governor Koheya and offers to help Miguel investigate a case of embezzlement of medical funds and hospital equipment. At this moment, Miguel thinks that Koheya cannot do this alone. Nina hacked into Kohia's laptop, and Miguel found important information about the people involved in the embezzlement case. She shows him the profiles of politicians who were involved in this corruption. Miguel then prepared himself and targeted one by one the corrupt officials and politicians who were also responsible for the embezzlement and corruption in the health department. Miguel kills them all while wearing the same mask as his disguise. The news of the successive killings of politicians was spread all over. After that, Miguel went to Nina at her workplace and asked her to find the sponsors who had been funding the campaigns of these corrupt officials. Nina refuses, but Miguel offers to reduce the sentence for Nina's mother, who was in prison. After some time, Nina visits her mother and questions the value of truth. Her mother replies that the truth is just an illusion because the truth for one person is not the same according to another person. In the next scene, Nina finds the profiles of the sponsors of those corrupt politicians, who are none other than Gomez. Nina takes control of the surveillance camera system in a building where Gomez is coming to meet Minister Regina. While in the head office, Indu was going through the suspect's files on the day of the governor's death. He finds Nina's profile. He found out the masked man's next target, the Awakener, which was none other than Minister Marta Regina. Edu calls Miguel to inform him of this, but he cannot reach Miguel. Then he leaves alone and moves towards the minister's building. He finds that masked man there. Edu chases Miguel and shoots him. Miguel comes straight to Nina, and she treats his wound. The next day, Miguel and Edu presented their reports that Minister Regina had collaborated with Antero Gomez. Gomes was the person who had funded the campaign of these corrupt officials. Miguel and Edu decided to investigate Minister Regina, but their chief rejected all the investigation results. The man also said that they should stop the investigation on Minister Regina. Miguel is annoyed with this decision, then decides to execute Gomez with his own hands. After some time, he reached Gomez's residence. He was seen having dinner with several other officials. Gomez's son was there too, meeting his mother and asking that he was not ready to become a president. Gomez arrived there and encouraged his son. However, Miguel deliberately shoots Gomez's son to make the man learn and admit his guilt. But Gomez used his son's death to gain public sympathy and nominate himself as the new presidential candidate. Meanwhile, a mysterious man in a car comes out to be a private spy of Antero Gomez, who was investigating the deaths of his colleagues. His name was C. Kara. Gomez has hired him personally to investigate the murders. He found out that the killer had a partner, and his calculations lead him to Nina's boss being the Awakener's partner. He eventually killed that man. Nina arrives at her workplace and finds that her boss has died. She rushed out of place and ran for Miguel's place. When she reaches there, C. Kara and his men also reach there, who are following Nina. They immediately attack Miguel's hideout. Miguel asks Nina to run from the place while covering her in the firing. In the next scene, Miguel puts on his mask and starts killing the followers. While fighting with one of Sikara's men, Sikara took Nina hostage. He offered Miguel a deal to save Nina's life. Sikara ordered Miguel to kill another presidential candidate, Julia Machado. Miguel agrees. After some time, the police came to Miguel's place. Edu and his team find out that the place was where the Awakener was hiding. Edu got more surprised when he knew the identity of the Awakener, who was none other than his best friend and colleague, Miguel. After knowing that, they researched the place and discovered that the Awakener was targeting Gomez. 
Edu and his team rushed to the location of the presidential candidate debate. There, Miguel also heads to kill Julia. Arriving at the debate location, Miguel was preparing to kill Julia. Edu appeared and immediately stopped him. Both of them get into a fierce fight. Edu tells Miguel to stop all his actions, but he does not listen to him and continues. He didn't care about his talks. On the other hand, Nina, who was being held captive by Sikara, fought back until she managed to injure Sikara seriously. Miguel is later arrested for the murder of corrupt officials. Edu then brought Miguel's ex-wife, hoping that she could persuade Miguel. His ex-wife said that their daughter would be very embarrassed to learn of Miguel's current acts of vigilantism and would not feel proud of her father. Inside the prison cell, Miguel learns that Entero Gomez won the elections. Here a man comes to investigate Miguel. He was one of Miguel's superiors, Deputy Diaz, who tried to kill Miguel. But Miguel managed to escape and kill that man. Miguel escapes from prison, prepares weapons and ammunition, and rushes to the parliament building, where Gomez and his fellow politicians are celebrating the victory of Gomez, who had managed to beat Julia in the results. Miguel attacked the parliament building without delay and killed all of Gomez's men and colleagues. When he finally confronts Gomez in his office, he tells Miguel that corruption will not disappear from the world because greed is a basic human trait. Miguel shot Gomez to death. After killing Gomez, Miguel was surrounded by Gomez's men at gunpoint. But Miguel had another plan. Miguel had already prepared a bomb that he had fixed in his car. Miguel pressed the bomb detonator, and immediately the building exploded and raised to the ground along with Miguel inside. The next day, when the rescuers, police, and forensics team arrive at the crime scene, they only find the mask of the Awakener, but do not find Miguel's body. The film ends by showing the figure of the Awakener aiming to shoot his target or something from the top of the building. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.